I'm Chaz here for Board Game Geek. I'm here with Brandon from Blue Orange Games, and you are going to take us on a journey through Animix. That is right. So, Animix, you're going to play with a different mix of animals each time you play. Um, you're going to get one more type than the number of players. So, I've got a, a three player setup here, so we're playing with four different animals. I see. Okay. The animals are all going to score points in different ways. Um, but I'm going to get to that in a second. The first thing you do is you shuffle all of your animals together. We deal out a grid, and our player count here it is a 4 by 5 grid, but that will increase or decrease based on the number of players. Okay. Then we're also given six cards face down. Okay. Each turn we're going to play one of these cards onto the table, either face down in front of us or face up here in the grid. What we're trying to do in that is at the end of the game, we will have six animals in front of us, mm -hmm. We'll look at who has the most of each animal, and then whoever has the most of that animal will score it in the middle. So the player with the most monkeys in front of them mm -hmm. will score points for the single column with the most monkeys in it. I can tell that from the symbol here and also because I've played this game before. <laughs> Similarly, uh, the elephants will score for the row with the most elephants in them. Okay. Penguins and pelicans score for the single group that is connected. Pelicans want to be diagonally connected. Penguins want to be orthogonally connected. Okay. Uh, so in this case, it would be three penguins. And every animal in this setup, uh, there are some exceptions later on if we play with different animals. But each one of these animals is two points per card. So this would be two, four, six points for the penguins, two, four, six points for the pelicans, four points for the monkeys, two points for the elephants. So that's what they would score. But how you score them is by playing cards from your hand onto the table. Okay. So the most simple option is just taking one of the cards in your hand, putting it face down in front of you. You're now going to try to score that animal at the end of the game, and the other players don't know what you're going for. Okay. Your other option is to take that card and replace a card in the grid. You will take the removed card, and now this is the animal that you'll be trying to score. And the card you've added will be locked into place and can no longer be manipulated. Oh, I see. So those are your two choices. Either one face down or one face up in the grid okay. comes back to you. Once we've all taken six turns, we'll have six animals in front of us. Mm -hmm. We'll flip up any face down cards. And then we'll figure out who has the most of each animal and we'll score it. Okay. So this early in the game, like first turn, I might not necessarily want to go and swap out and make these penguins really large uh, because it, I have no penguin. I'm not necessarily scoring penguins. It is a, a tricky uh, decision, yes. Timing involved in there. Brain burning if you want it to be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's nice. Now, um, let's just real quick, how do the uh, other ones score? Ooh, my other animals. Yes. So the wolf is the most straightforward. The wolves are going to score on the border. So that would be two, four, six, eight points for the wolves. Okay. And the middle doesn't count. All right. Lions score 11 points minus the number of lions in the grid. So that's a 10-point lion. More lions means fewer points. 9-point lions, 8-point mm -hmm. lions, etc. The parrots or the lovebirds are the only group that are the only animal that will score more than one group. So parrots will score for every pair of them on the board, either horizontal or vertical. Okay. This is still only one pair. I can't that I can't pair them both. Okay. So that'd be two, four, six, eight points for the ferret. And the last one that's the most confusing for people is the chameleon. The chameleon wants the animals around it to be different. So for each um, of the four animals immediately next to it, mm -hmm. each different species will score two points. So right now I have three different species, that's six points. What can be confusing though is this. The chameleon only cares about what's around it. So even though these are the same, it's still different than all of these, so this is an eight point chameleon. Okay. And that's it. That's really nice. This is uh, clever, and like I said, could be a little brain burner if you want it to be. Mm -hmm. Where is uh, Animix in terms of production? Animix is basically done. It is in the process of coming to our warehouse. We are expecting it either next month or May. Excellent. So if this uh, interests you as well, you want to burn some of your brain cells, be sure to check out Blue Orange Games' website or the Board Game Geek page for this game for more information. In the meantime, we'll talk to you again soon.